Hi, this is Kathy Quinn with Floriani. Floriani is a division of R&K Distributing, and I want to welcome you to this week's Project of the Week. Well, as you all aware, we had a new update at the beginning of August. So, of course, with updates come amazing tools. But I want to look at some improvements because we always focus on what's new and wow, like our our photo to stitches, absolutely tremendous product. Go to our club, just to, always to show you, if you go into the club, I'm going to go to the embroidery club. I'm going to sign in. And of course, if you're a new Floriani owner, you're going to want to join the club, and it is exclusive. But if I go to Updates and look at my Floriani Total Control software, or any of them, if you notice, I can scroll down and I can watch videos. They're already here. Now, these are done by Trevor Conkergood. I'm going to close that because I don't want that video to start. Um, these videos are done by Trevor Conkergood. I will also usually repeat the functions and do a video as well. We think different, we teach different, so that's always a help. But today what I want to focus on is a couple of little things that can make life so much easier. The first thing I want to do is when you download a new update, sometimes it plays a little bit with our settings. So I want to go to Tools because we have um, preferences. I'm going to go from Tools to Preferences. We have some presets in the software that are always done that way, such as my Properties box and my Sequence View. They are now automatically locked. So let me go to View. These are automatically, this box is automatically checked. So that means you cannot close either one of these. And a lot of times that is such a joy because you can't accidentally lose one of these boxes and then try and figure out how to get them back. Well, I don't like them locked, mostly for demonstration purposes. Sometimes I want to show you the whole sequence view and not have this space taken up. So I deselect that. Show crosshair in input mode is a, is a default. That means when I move my cursor to digitize or input stitches, there's a big crosshair on the screen. I don't do well with that. So I turn it off. Now your highlight selection is always a, a benign blue. That's what is chosen by the software. So I always come in and change it back to my um, bright pink. So that's just a little quickie. If we come back to um, formats, let's come back formats, let's come back to our first page. Now if you want it to color match to a specific thread, my case, of course, I wanted to go to Floriani Poly. But what if I had Isocord? What if I had Isofil? What if I only had Madeira? I would want to change that and tell it to color match on loading. Now, why do I want to color match on loading? Because I want it to make the closest match it possibly can in the thread palette I own. So those are just a couple of little things that I want you to make sure you go back and do when you put in a new version. Now here is some cool, cool improvements. Let's bring in a design. I'm going to go to my library and I'm going to go to, I usually go into my free monthly designs, but today I think I'm just going to go into, I'm going to go into Rose Mulling. This is a Debbie Homer design and I'm going to just pick a format and I'm going to pull this design in. So it'll take a minute because these are huge stitch designs. So there's Rose Mulling. Now there is that design. Now the first thing is it matched to my Floriani thread palette. How cool is that? However, and I'm going to close down my properties. Now remember, I said mine aren't locked. So you can see everything. Well, what if I realized, oh my gosh, I don't have Floriani thread. Say it, it's never so. Do you see this new little icon right here? It says match palette. 
I can say I want you to take all of these at once without changing my default. My default is Floriani, but maybe at my girlfriend I'm at my girlfriend's house and all she has is Isaacord. I can click on the Isaacord and I want you to know it changed every color in this design straight to Isaacord. Now if I reloaded it, it would come up in Floriani colors because I did not change my preferences. I just changed this one design. We could always do this, but we used to have to do it one color at a time. Now, through the magic of Trevor Conquer Good looking at something that might make our lives much easier, I can change an entire palette at once. Maybe I want to do Hope's Matte Thread. Ooh, see how that subtly changed the colors? It's the closest match, but now this is my embellished matte. So you can see I can go through and change this however I want. Now here's the next way cool improvement that I love. Let's get a design that's not so complicated so you can really see it. I'm going to go to my library. I'm going to go ahead and go into my free monthly designs. I'm going to go ahead and go into, well, let's go into August. I haven't been in August much. Let's go and see what our new designs were for August. Oh, here they are. Okay, so what I'm going to do woo, is I'm going to pull this down. Well, it's me. I can't seem to ever scroll my, I scroll crooked. Okay, here we go. Let's bring in our summer drink gnome. Okay, let me change my background color because his beard's white so we can't see him. So I'm going to come along my left hand toolbar and do you see a picture of the screen with a paint bucket? That's to change my background color or if I wanted to see what it looked like on a specific fabric. Well, I'm just going to change the color right now to a gray. Okay, there we go. So now I can see my whole gnome. There he is. Well, what if I wanted this glass to stitch first? Now, we wouldn't, but let's just pretend. So, I'm going to grab the glass, and used to, I would drag and drop it. And that was okay, but it wasn't always easy. You can drag and drop. But notice now, if I select a color, notice I've got arrows here. Now, this says, move it to first. So, with one click, I've moved that class to first and then I go, what was I thinking? It's in front of his hands. Now I don't want it to move it to last because now if I move it to last, it's in the wrong place. It's still in front of his hands. So what I could do is, let's go back to moving it to first. I have these up and down arrows. I could say, okay, move down. Nope, move down. I can move him down one, just one shift at a time until I get that where I want it. Is that not cool? This allows you to move your stuff around in your sequence with you without dragging and dropping. And sometimes that is such a blessing because you'll be moving and you'll lose it and then you'll try and find it. By having these magic arrows with this new improved sequence view. See, a lot of times we've got great tools but we could improve them. So not only do we do updates, we improve the tools you already have. So that is a way, way cool feature. So I just want you to look at that. I want to point out, I want you to go watch Trevor's video in Photo to Stitches. It is truly an amazing program. Now remember, anytime you convert something from a JPEG to stitches of any kind, your artwork is key. If you have a really sloppy done picture uh, that you took a picture of a Polaroid that's 12 years old, it's not going to define well unless you define it. So know that this is a one-click wonder. That is magic. Trevor has done quite a bit new stuff in our software. He's given us locks. He's let us change color uh, in the middle of a design. We could change a color block in here. We could lock a stitch and change his nose into two colors. We've got a whole lot of new fun features for you. I really wanted to point out our match palette. 
and our sequence view today. So play with those. Look at how handy those are. <coughs> Excuse me. Go watch Trevor's Photo to Stitches. If you have not watched those videos, go watch them. They are fantastic. So, and remember to, whenever you put in a new version, come in here and check your preferences and work with them. So I look so forward to seeing you again next week. Enjoy the improvements to your new features. I'll see you soon.